Hi guys, so today I decided to do a DIY crafting video and I'm going to be showing you how I made this canvas using crayon art, paint, and some fabric flowers. Also, a shout out to my sweet mate for letting me edit this video on her laptop. Thank you so much, you're the best, and I really hope you enjoyed this canvas I made for you. I start off by tracing this elephant so that when I go back in with paint I know which lines to stay in and where to cover things up. I knew I wanted to put a quote up at the top, so I wrote it out on a piece of paper, and I'm going to just outline where I want it to go. This way I know where not to put the crayon art as well, and I can go over this once the crayon is laid down. So for this project, I knew I wanted to have the water coming out of the elephant's trunk, so I picked a couple different shades of blue, and starting with the lightest shade, I'm going to be heating it with my blow dryer, and then as it melts, touching it to the canvas. This way, the color can be transferred onto the canvas and make that melted effect. Um, and I just go over it a couple times. Unfortunately, my arm decides to get in the way because I didn't pick the best camera angle, but I'm sure you'll see what I'm doing once I take my arm away. After laying down the initial color, I'll just take my other blues out of my crayon box and alternate them depending on what colors I want to flow from where. And then depending on the direction you want the art to go, um, you can change the direction of your hair dryer. So I wanted mine flowing downwards and out because it was coming out of the trunk. And you can make different splatter marks and things like that. And then I finally decided to change my camera angle because I realized you couldn't see what I was doing. So at the bottom layer I'm working and I'm just making stems for the flowers because I want the elephant to look like it's watering some flowers out of the ground. And I'm just taking the green crayon and once I've melted it, doing an upward motion with the hair dryer. And I'm struggling with the canvas because the hair dryer is blowing it away. And then I just wanted to touch up the crayon a little bit, so here's a much better angle and you can see what I'm doing as I'm just working with the crayon to add it, and the angle that I'm holding the hair dryer at so that I get the effect that I want. So once I have all the crayon down that I wanted, I decided to put some fake flowers there, and I decided to drop my glue as well. So, just taking my regular Elmer's glue, Elmer's glue, excuse me, I had these fabric flowers in my craft box, and I decided to put those on the canvas as well. Uh, the quote at the top reads, if you do not have a memory like an elephant, make an impression like one, or leave an impression like one, something along those lines. And, um... I just really like the idea of these flowers growing out from under where the elephant was watering. And it's a different texture. Instead of doing crayon flowers, I like doing fabric ones because most of it is in crayon or paint. And then you have these fabric flowers at the bottom, which is pretty cute, I thought. And yeah. And then it was time to paint the elephant, so I just had this black paint, and taking a big brush, I started in the middle, and working my way outwards to the more defined areas of the elephant, I'm just filling it in, making sure that it's just a nice black silhouette. Once I had the elephant filled in, it was time to attack the quote. So taking some tiny brushes and a paint color called Vermilion, which is like an aqua teal, I started to outline what I had done in pencil already. Um, this was not an easy feat and I ended up going over most of it again in Sharpie so that it looked a lot neater than it did. And the final canvas came out looking something a little like this. And because I don't know what cameras are, I obviously didn't get the whole thing in shot. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!